Good evening ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be playing again DV Lathion and see what's going on with the brother. Ah, that is not going well. Lin, Lin heads home, his little mind racing. That, did, that looks more like a girl than a boy, but who am I to judge? It's messing with me. It just wants... It just wanted to scare me. It didn't actually pick Maro. Maro wouldn't would have told me. Nope. He would have told me, right? Maro? But there is no answer. Oh great, he ran away. No, he didn't. He isn't the sacrifice. And where would he run away to anyway? To the wilderness so he can be eaten by something else instead? Then sits on the couch, gets up. But then sits back down again. He gets up a couple more times until he finally decides to stay down. And there he sits for the rest of the day. He starts running around in circles. He's still sitting there when Maro finally shows up. Ah! 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 <clears> hmm. <throat> Why are you sitting here in the dark? Scared the crap out of me. Uh, sorry. I didn't notice the sun went down. <sighs> well, the vegetables are fucked. I saw, I saw what I could, but it wasn't much. Thanks. Sure. Anyway, good night, Maro. Yeah. Can I talk? Can we? Can we talk for a bit? Oh yes. The conversation started. Nobody wants to hear. What's up? Uh, you seem a little stressed out. It's just the crops. It sucks. I see. Um, mm, uh, it just pissed me off. I put all the effort in the it effort in, and they rot anyway. You know. I understand. If it's just that, then fine. But you know, my I'm, I'm. If something was wrong, you'd tell me, right? Uh, yeah, of course. The house gets a little too quiet for comfort. Anyway. I have to get to sleep now. Good night. Yeah. Lin could have easily checked if Maro was the sacrifice, but he didn't. He didn't have to. He knows already after all. He knows. But just for now, he pretend to be convinced otherwise. Ronda is dusting the temple stairs with such a vigor you think he likes it. Oh, hey, feeling better? Yes, thank you. Any news on the sacrifice? Not a peep, but fear not. Randa throws the bathroom... Randa throws the broom away with an extravagant gesture. It's my turn to pray today. Isn't it a bit early? Watch me, I'll get sacrifice to empty out of that thing the thing. I don't think you should push it, I mean. Relax. I'll take care of it. Linz. Left alone with a growing, growing sense of unease. He sits down on the stairs to brood. One might wonder what exactly is the problem here. Maro has been nothing but un unbearable this whole time. I'd say good riddance. But Lin doesn't see it that way. He remembers him and Maro used to be very close. Best friends even. That's how pitiful Lin's social life used to be. You see, Lin was one of the unwanted children. Well, not at first. At first he was very much wanted. He, His parents had just got married and were on their way to their happily ever after. But then mother got ill while pregnant with Lin. She went to the Great Devletheon to ask for help. And the uh, Merciful Devletheon helped her, of course. Devletheon is the most kind being on earth, after all. Uh, if he's the most kind, then there must be somebody that's even worse than he is, and I don't want to see that person. That monster, that beast, that whatever demon but in exchange it demanded the unborn child for itself 
It was so excited, it had never had a pet before. Mother, on the other hand, wasn't too thrilled about it. But what else could she do? Let herself and the child die? Besides, she could always just make another. So she agreed. Lynn was born to serve the great Lethion. What an honor. Maybe that's why mother didn't bother loving Lynn. Lynn wasn't hers anymore. Hmm, that's mean. She made sure Lynn stayed alive, but didn't waste her breath talking to him. In fact, she went out of her way to acknowledge his existence as little as possible. Father didn't think it was right, but said nothing because he was a spineless people pleaser. But Mara was different. He and Lynn would play together and overall, they had a pleasant childhood. Well, ignoring all the unpleasant things, like dad leaving to die and sibling favoritism and whatnot. Look, I'm saying neither of them were beaten with sticks and as far as I'm concerned, that's a happy childhood. Anyways, it was only after Lin officially became a priest that Marrow became a whiny little shit. So you're high priest now. That's right. You'll be in charge of the sick rituals. Of those sick rituals. Some of them, yes. Uh, congratulations. Lin could understand why Marrow wasn't happy for him. Serving the Lethion was ensuring the safety and happiness of the whole village. Sure, there uh, was an occasional sacrifice or two, but it was either that or no village at all. Lin thought Mara was being unreasonable and naive. Surely he'd grow out of it. Nope. Anyway, that's why Lin isn't so sure whether to stab Mara or not. What am I to do? Killing Marrow will prevent a famine. A famine. Not killing him is just me being selfish. <laughs> Picture I got. While that might be fun and all, what then? Where would you? What would we even go? I'm going. The yeah. I mean, I'm not killing the brother. I mean, if I if I have any saying at this. He doesn't die, so probably that's one of the in, uh, well, the choice for ending. Since I, I read, it says there's two different endings, so I'm going to be ripped apart by beasts as soon as I exit the village's surroundings. Although the Blethians said this would ward off monsters, at least anything smaller than that. Ah. Oh. Did I just compare the left into a monster? No, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. The left is beautiful and wonderful and kind and piece of shit. Some priest I am. There are you. I was looking for you. Hi, how did you... How did he go with the left The left He asked as if he didn't know. Oh boy, I'm sorry to tell you this. The left told me who the sacrifice is. It's your brother. Oh. Sorry, Lin doesn't know how to react. Should he pretend to be shocked by the news? It seems like a huge brother right now. It seems like a huge bother right now. You okay there, kiddo? Um, oh yes, yes, I'm fine. So you have to go through this again. Again? Uh, like with your mother? Oh, alright, I did that. Oh, that's why she doesn't feel anything because mother didn't never loved her, her him. Sorry, because mother didn't never loved him. Shit. Well, anyway, there's no way Mar Maro come willingly. That's for sure. Will you come with me to get him? Are you sure I can go grab him with Anon? No, no, he'll probably run away at sight of the you two. Let's just go get him. Right now, it's still early. I know, he's home right now, so... <sighs> this is going to be get messy, isn't it? Yep. If he starts a ruckus, we'll knock him out. 
Ha, you have no mercy, huh? What was that? Uh, old man's muttering, ignore. Just old man farting about. Not a big deal. Are you sure you want to do this? Hmm? I know it's difficult. Nah, it's fine. Are you sure? Stop asking me. Are we surprised to, to see them? He was clearly expecting the priest to come after him much later. Possibly after he had mercilessly come up with an escape plan. Um, what's up? Look, we know it's you, kid. Uh, what are you talking about? Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. No, way. It's not me, I swear. Lin, it's not me. Maro. Not you, huh? Then show you don't have the mark. No. In a desperation, Maro attempts to push aside the old priest to get past him. Burando has dealt with this kind of thing plenty of times. He gets Maro in a headlock. Thank you for your cooperation. Here we go. Maro struggles in a panic. Ow, 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 Lin, a little help here? Lin helps Rando grab Maro. But wait, I said not to sacrifice him. They start dragging Maro to the temple. He's kicking and screaming the whole way there, but it's no use. People st stop and stare. For the instant Rando asks them for some help, they all become extremely busy with looking at the clouds. Hmm, yes, fascinating. Might it rain tonight? That'd be bad. Mm hmm, yeah, yeah. Several bumps and bruises later, Mao is thrown into the temple's wine cellar. Now behave, or we'll have to tie you up. You don't want to spend. You don't want to spend? You don't want to spend the last of your life being unable to move, right? I mean, that sounds pretty uncomfortable. Imagine getting run, running nose from crying and not being able to clean up. Ooh, that'd be bad. That's just gross. Thank you for your input, Rondo. So now what? I'm to sit here until evening waiting for my death. Yes, you can help yourself to some of our wine. Mao isn't old enough to... What does it matter? The kid's about to kick the bucket anyway. It's brilliant. He won't even have to suffer the morning after. I'm telling you, red wine gives me the worst hangover. There was this one time... I don't give a shit, old man. <laughs> You're lost. It's a great story. I'm going to see if Aeon... Uh, Aeon has shown up yet. Actually, it's such a great story, I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, so it was uh, like 15 years ago during the harvest season. Yeah, we're not listening to that crap. Ron stayed behind to mercilessly torture Maro with his boring story. Right. On cue, Anon appears. Here I am. So you are. We have captured, we have captured the sacrifice. Oh. Could you check that everything is in on... Is in order in sacramental hall. Sure, was a sacrifice. So I have to. Sorry, I have to visit the Vletheon. Okay, I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, of course. Lin, little thing, what brings you here? Is this ritual starting already? You should know, I prefer it at midnight. No, no, I just want to tell you, you. Oh, we are ready to go once the sun sets. Why would you tell me this? Um, it's not. Pro that's not my problem. I'm just. I just want to eat. The logistics of the ritual are on you. I know, but I thought you might want to know anyway. Considering who the sacrifice is. Now, why would that matter? Surely I can trust my precious pet to do as it's told. Of course. Then what is it? This? What is this? Did you come here looking for a praise? Uh, I came to pray. Oh, uh, well, go on then. The lesson, I find my heart wavering. 
I think I'm sad. Duh. What should I do? Uh, you do as you are told. How you feel about it couldn't possibly be more irrelevant. Doesn't that make me spineless? Luckily I have enough spine for the both of us. <sighs> yeah, if that was all, leave. I want to relax before dinner. Yes, uh, well, right, right, I'll see you tonight. The decision has been made already. The, I'll, I'll ha the decision has been made already, yet Lin is still un undecided. He wonders where he went wrong, but also if this really is for the best. No, it's not for the best. Run away, I don't know, saved brother. Has to be. After all, the Vlatian has decided this. Lin will surely become an Im improved version of himself through this. Truly, Marok has been but a hindrance. Yes, after this, there will be no more baby brother to pamper. Uh, that's quite mean. On the Vlatian to worship. Just as it should be for a good servant of God. Yes, yes, what a happy day this is. Wonderful day, a day of absolution. The ritual isn't for the corpse at all, it's a gift from Lin. An offering for the Lethion to forgive Lin for wasting all these years. Lin is ready now, ready to receive grace. With newfound determination, Lin makes his way down the temple stairs. He's feeling certain about himself, but is then struck by Anon's sorry face. There you are, Lin. Uh, is something wrong? I saw who the sacrifice is. Lin, I'm so sorry. Uh, just what he didn't need. Did you find me just to tell me that? Uh huh. Um, well, yeah, I was just wor worried. I know it must be hard on you. Yes, yeah, so what? Excuse me? Yes, it is difficult. That is pre precisely why it's called sacrifice. Uh, I know, but... Anon, why did you even come become a pri high priestess? What do you mean? It's been years now, and I haven't seen you perform the ritual even once. Uh-huh. Indeed, it always me or Rando. Mostly me because Rando is awful at it. Oops. Let the terrible one do the terrible deed so you don't have to. I think I missed something. Skipped something. Oh. Don't say that. You know what, Anon. Anon doesn't want to hear that she had enough of Lin holier than though nonsense. I can't, I can tell you, not in the mood to talk, which was false, Lin was definitely in the mood to talk. I'm gonna leave this video at this point, uh, thank you for watching, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video, see what happens to the brother if he gets sacrificed or not. Bye bye!